the Ottawa Twins. And I'm on my way to the Ottawa River to film a video about eels. a local natural watershed, which is home to a diverse number of fish species, including smallmouth bass, lake sturgeon, and American eels. This is actually the first time I've seen baby geese. Not only are eels vital to their ecosystem as predators and feeding larger fish, but eels are also important to indigenous cultures. American eels used to be extremely numerous. They're less numerous now, in part by fishing, in part by dams. Dams block the path of baby eels coming in from the Sargasso Sea to the rivers where they are going to spend their adult lives. Here in the Ottawa River, eels have to get through those dams. 25% of them die trying. If we want to increase the number of ones getting back to the Sargasso Sea and improve the population, we need some way of getting the baby eels over the dams. That is where eel ladders come in. Regular fish ladders are basically a regular stairway with shallow water on each step and are designed for salmon. Real life the eel ladder is a long rectangular prism made of metal. It's hollow and on the inside there are bits of PVC jutting out of it and there's water trickling down to the top. Now at night the baby eels, like this one we've made here, will naturally want to swim into it and they will shimmy up between these things and they'll fall into a holding tank. Now in the morning workers are going to take this whole new tank, they're going to put its residents into a bucket, and they're going to release the eels above the dam. There is a large dam, one of the largest on the Ottawa River, the Carrion Dam. It is set to undergo a big reconstruction plan, except it does not call for an eel ladder in the reconstruction plans. How can you help the eels rebound to the once great numbers. Well, by joining forces with local charities such as the Ottawa Riverkeeper, we will be able to save the American eel. And I'll see you in the big Hey everybody, thanks for watching episode 10. I'm sorry it took so long to make. I'd love to hear ideas for future videos, so let me know in the comments down below. If you like my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And last thing, I'd like to give a huge shout out to my dad for editing all of my videos. See you later!